The Bible says, And thou shalt take this rod in thine hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. Moses here has that rod, and it's that rod that he throws down on the ground later, and it becomes a serpent. It's that same rod that he spreads across the Red Sea and the Red Sea parts. And it's those miracles, those signs, those wonders that make the Jews believe. But it's those same signs and miracles and wonders by which Pharaoh's heart was hardened. In a couple of verses later, Exodus 4.21, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou shalt go, when thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine heart, but I will harden his heart, and he shall not let the people go. Those signs and those wonders did not convince Pharaoh. Pharaoh was a Gentile. Signs are not for Gentiles. But 1 Corinthians 1.22 says, For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. It is a biblical truth that the Jews require a sign. When Jesus came onto this earth, he came doing signs. He came doing wonders. He healed. He raised people from the dead. He didn't do those things just to do some nice humanitarian works. He did them to convince the Jews of his Godship, that he was God here on earth. And brother or sister, if you were looking for signs and for wonders, then look no further at the greatest wonder that you could have, which is the word of God. Second Peter 1.19 says, we, also, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. We have a more sure word of prophecy, the Bible, the King James Bible, to be exact. And if you trust that and you believe that, it is better than if the very voice of God were to thunder out of the sky and speak to you. We have a more sure word of prophecy, and you probably have one, two, three, maybe twelve in your house that you can read from. Get in the Word of God. Get in that more sure word of prophecy. Don't worry about signs or wonders or miracles, but trust in that sure word of prophecy.